what is up YouTube IDM here and welcome back to another video so I'm gonna show you guys how you can play GameCube games on iOS 15 this is pretty sweet and we will be installing it through the alt store application now I have an entire dedicated video guide on how to get alt store so I'm not gonna show you guys how to get alt store but I will leave the video link for it in the description so if you guys don't know how to get alt store uh, video link is down there now, a, a quick disclaimer, um, before we even get into the tutorial, I am using the beta version of the alt store, which isn't free. And the reason that this is required is because it allows you to enable JIT within applications and JIT is required in order for Dolphin iOS to operate. So in order to do that, we needed the beta version of Alt Store. Um, at some point, this beta version will be publicly released and it should be a public feature. But until then, we have to use the beta version. Now, there is an alternative way of enabling JIT within Dolphin iOS without having the beta paid version of Alt Store. Um, and that is using Jitterbug. Now, I attempted to use this um, before creating this tutorial with Jitterbug is, is really kind of confusing to use and you need two iOS devices in order for it to function. Uh, you have your main device which you're going to play the games on and you need a secondary device in order to enable the JIT in it. So I figured I would just show the simpler method. This is the method that I'm going to use. If you guys want me to you know, do Jitterbug and do a tutorial on it, just comment down below. Let me know if that's something you guys really want to see and maybe I will do a you know tutorial on it there really isn't very many good tutorials on YouTube so I figured you know maybe that would be something I could show you guys but uh, like I said we're doing we're doing alt store beta the paid version of alt store uh, at least currently until this version is released and then it will be free but uh, what we're gonna do is install dolphin iOS as you can see I already have it so it's really quite easy to install it I'll leave the link for this in the description and it's this website here, Dolphin iOS 3.2.0, which is the public beta version. You need the public beta. Don't use the, the regular version because it, this does not work. So you need this one in specific. Again, the link for this is in the description. Once you come to this website, just go ahead and click on the download button. It will jump us over to Safari. We can click download and now it is in our downloads. And there we go, it just finished. As you can see, I have another one in here. I've been testing this out all morning. At this point, we can just click the magnifying glass to locate uh, dolphinios.ipa. And the one that I literally just downloaded was this one here. So at this point, all you gotta do is 3D touch, click share, and then go ahead and open it in alt store. As you can see, it is right there. I already have it installed, so it's just going to overwrite the application now this part takes a while so just be patient it takes it like two to three minutes to actually install and i'm not sure why it's so slow but uh just be patient i'll be back as soon as it's finished okay it has finished uh installing finally it took literally like two or three minutes um at this point you should see the dolphin ios application on your iphone you can go ahead and launch the app and you will notice that when you launch it you do not have any games uh within Dolphin iOS, so you will have to download the games separately. Now, YouTube really doesn't like showing or like it when people show how to download games like this, so I can't show you how to download them or where to download them. Um, just go ahead and Google search GameCube ROMs and you will find a couple of websites where you can get them from. Um, watch out because some of the sites, the downloads are incredibly slow. So if the, do the download is super, super slow, just go ahead and try a different website. As you can see, I have two games here. Now, installing the games, it gets a little confusing because there's two types of games or two different types of files that you're going to encounter uh, when it comes to installing games. You have your regular zip file, which is the easier of the two. And then you have the .7z, which is a little bit harder because we have to use another application to unpackage the game. So depending on what game you get and what type of file it is downloading as, um, just use whatever method accordingly. So I'll show you the regular zip file first. That's the easier of the two because all you gotta do is click on the zip file within your downloads. As you can see, I'm just in my files and my downloads and it will extract the game 
uh, from the zip file as you can see the progress there now the games are pretty large so this part takes a little bit of time as well as you can see this game is uh, 1.3 gigabyte in size so watch out you know when downloading these games they are pretty large and if you download like 20 games you could fill your iPhone memory up very quickly so just watch out for that so we're just waiting for the game to unzip here and then at that point it's really easy to install the game into Dolphin iOS I'll just give it a second here it should be finishing up okay the game has finally unpackaged and at this point all you got to do is 3d touch on it go ahead and click on share and then you can go ahead and open it in Dolphin iOS another method to install it is directly within Dolphin iOS you can click the plus button in the upper right and within my downloads as you can see uh, there is the .iso file that I can go ahead and click on and it will install the game now I already have it so I'm not going to install it again um, but that is the first type of file that you're going to encounter like I said that's the easier of the two because since it's a zip file we can just unzip it right in files and then open it directly that way now the next type of file you will encounter when downloading these uh, ROMs or ISO files for GameCube is the .7z now this is a little harder because we have to extract the files with uh, another application and the application I like to use is iZip there is iZip which is free and then there is iZip Pro which is paid I have the Pro version but you could still use iZip the free version so what I'm going to do is go ahead and click share and then I'm just going to share it with iZip Pro so it's going to go ahead and launch it in here and then uh, it immediately prompts you, would you like to unzip all files? I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. Now, again, this takes a minute. It's a pretty big game. It's 1.3 gigabyte in size. So extracting the file does take a minute. So I'll be back as soon as it's done. OK, the file has finished extracting. As you can see, it is uh, Su Super Smash Brothers, and it ends with the .iso. So now what we want to do is go ahead and share this file with Dolphin iOS. Pretty simple. Just go ahead and click on uh, share to Dolphin iOS and it will install it that way. Now I've already done it so I'm not going to do it again but uh, it does work and then you will notice that when you launch the game you should have the games there and also take note you can pull to refresh uh, if you need to do that. Now we need to enable JIT or JIT in order to play these games. So if you launch the game here as you can see waiting for JIT now to do this we need to go back into the alt store and we need to 3d touch on Dolphin iOS and then you can see there is the enable JIT option there go ahead and click on that it will re redirect us back to Dolphin iOS and then it will start running the game now every time you launch a game you will have to enable the JIT manually it doesn't do it automatically for you so that is kind of the workaround and that's why um, alt store beta is required is because we need to enable JIT in order to get the game working so there we go as you can see the game is operating I can go through the whole menu here there we go Super Mario Sunshine is ready to start and then you have your save data and all of that we'll just put him here and jump up and we'll just click start now to exit the game all you got to do is touch on the screen as you can see the little arrow shows up there and that allows you to exit the game you can pause the emulation you can click play you can also access settings from here so you have touch screen controller so gamecube port one you have other settings here so port one these are for controllers um, i actually have a um, Bluetooth enabled controller I might do more videos on this stuff if you guys want to see more details but um, if you want to use a Bluetooth controller you can access it uh, from here and change a bunch of different settings with that so we'll click done here also take note that you can create a save state from this menu saving within the game does not work you have to create a save state within Dolphin iOS from here so you just click save and then if you wanted to load up your game when you relaunch it just click the load option there but I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of the game and just click yes and it's a little buggy as you can see it just crashed on me that's okay 
and we'll just try and load up Super Smash Brothers, which was the other file type, which is the .7z, and we'll just go ahead and launch that to verify that that is working as well. So we'll enable JIT. It'll jump us back into Dolphin iOS, and then the game will start playing. So just give it a second here, and there you go. Now we can play Super Smash Brothers on our iPhone on iOS 15. So that is basically how you can get it up and running. That's some of the basics. Like I said, I might do more videos on this if you guys want. Also, if you guys you know really want me to do the jitterbug tutorial, just let me know in the comments. Uh, I might do that in the future. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Like I said, uh, I'll leave all the links in the description. Be sure to check that out. This has been IDM, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.